It's day 104. I'm leaving the uh, Lakeside Hotel. Heading back to the trail. It is going to rain. Kind of a light rain all day. In the 40s and lower 50s. Um, a little bit of a late start. It's almost it's 10 quarter till 8. And it's going to rain into the evening and maybe into the next morning so I'm definitely targeting definitely targeting a shelter it's hard to know how to dress on a on a rainy day um i'm already getting hot even though it's in the like 50 degrees uh, there's not much wind so i think i'm gonna take the rain pants off and some leggings and just go with um, a rain jacket and shorts and uh, but I'll keep the rain pants handy see how that goes all right down to my shorts still light drizzle and in situations like this it's um, it's the wind that that makes all the difference um, there's a, a very light breeze if any um, if it kicks up later on I'll definitely get cold I have to put more on I have discovered my superpower. You know, some people are just crazy strong or other people can shoot laser beams out of their eyes. My superpower, I can, I can walk literally all day just alone with my thoughts and what I see around me and, and not get bored be perfectly entertained that's it that's my superpower that is Finnerty Pond for those of you that don't live in the Northeast it's a, it's a lake <laughs> they don't know what they're talking about The forest here is kind of, in my mind, how it's described in the in the Tolkien novels, in the in the stories by J.R. Tolkien. The good forest, not not Mirkwood. I'm a Tolkien nerd, in case anybody didn't know. Where I am, the cookie, cookie lady from Massachusetts. Hey, buddy. Yeah. I am on the front porch. There's, a, there's cookies there. Place to charge my phone, and I am keeping dry. And this is also a farm. There's a whole field of blueberries over there it's a beautiful place and it comes with the dog you do good boy The, uh, the rain has turned into more of a steady rain, I guess, uh, about noon today. And uh, I've had to layer up, put my, put my rain pants back on and other layers. So yeah, it's about three miles till the next shelter. And uh, there's a privy there and I have to poop. Trying to make it. I mean, 
I have no trouble going in the woods. I'm very proud of the the deep holes that I excavate for it. But it's raining. And uh, I don't want to have to do that. You shall not pass! Sorry about that. Everything seems to be a Lord of the Rings reference. Wrapping up the day. I am at the Kwood shelter. <clears throat> and I went... 16.2 miles from the Brickshire Lodge, Lakeside Lodge. So I'm staying at this shelter. There's my view. Kind of down the hill. It is continuing to rain. And I couldn't get radar. So um, I decided to stop here at 16.2 miles um, because I really needed to uh, to be in a dry place. I'm wearing some of the clothes I got wet um, just to kind of dry them out. So I'm hoping I could. I mean, I have other dry clothes, but if you uh, if you wear this wet stuff, your body heat will dry it out. So that's that's what I'm trying to do. And um, Let's see, there's a guy um, that I'm hoping to hike with at some point, and he is two or three days ahead of me. And, uh, and so I may try to uh, gain some ground, and, and he knows, uh, um, you know, we're, we're texting and everything. So we'll just, uh, we'll see how that goes. A bunch of these shelters um, around here are the exact same design, and I kind of like them. Um, it's got a big overhang. The picnic table is under the overhang, keeps it out of the rain. And they have these, they have four bunks. I'm going to be in that one. Here, and then there's a loft. You can go up, go up the ladder and stay up in that loft up there. It's a pretty slick design. I like it. The shelter is perched on this ravine. So uh, this is the, the picture I get from my sleeping bag. <laughs> 